Okay. We have to go for a minute. Yeah, you got a tuna! How do I get him up here? Oh That's hot! You got it! You got a tuna! Oh you got a tuna! He's huge! He's blue or something. Oh silver. It's so big! Be careful with this. Oh my gosh, you so got you so got him. God. Nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. I'm so tired. Yeah. I love it when we catch two. We're gonna have so much fish. Will come kill this fish. What? Come kill the fish. He's on he's on board. Just cut his whole head off. Thank you for giving us food. We will love you, every bit of you. All right, this guy's dead. Here. Oh, yum. Nice. Yum. Damn, wow. sweet Ready? fish. Look at that, you murder. <laughs> that is sweet. Uh, there yeah. he is, he's big. So proud. What do we use that handle of vodka for? We got that fishy good and drunk. <laughs> decrease the pain, I guess. Oh, decrease the pain. While four days at sea might seem like a lot to some people, there really is so much to occupy our time. We're going to show you what the first leg of our voyage was like. The downtime as well as the excitement. Here we go. Four days of getting away from everything else, just doing what I love. All right, I'm all David Kraft. Fishing, uh, training in the city of Fort Story Lighthouse, maintain one nautical mile. Great crew, beautiful boat, beautiful vessel, beautiful weather. Couldn't ask for anything more in life. This is what evening on the Impossible Dream feels like out in the open ocean. Ross reading his book. Julia is cooking up a storm. Do you, feel, do you like olives, Rob? I do. The boys are grilling. What are you grilling? Chicken and steak. We have entered the Saharan dust. Never seen anything like it. So apparently, this crazy looking weather is caused by a huge sandstorm that occurred in the Saharan Desert. The sand traveled all the way across the Atlantic, hitting some of the East Coast states of the US as well as some of the Gulf states. This created really hot, dry air aloft and decreased any tropical storm activity, which we like when we're sailing 100 miles offshore, and also created this crazy haze that blocks out the sun. Oh my God! Oh, little guy. There's a baby? There's a baby? This morning we heard a distress call on the radio. We have changed course and are heading towards this boat that's adrift. They are unable to contact the Coast Guard, so Will is talking to the Coast Guard on their behalf. We are about to save two souls from being lost at sea with no power on their boat. They're 25 miles offshore. Captain Will Ray on the Impossible Dream. We are motoring to a vessel that's adrift uh, here off of Cape Canaveral. Oh, great. Yeah, were you able to get back with the Coast Guard? Uh, they were asking you permission to do a broadcast under the app. 
crisis averted. No longer just our pay problem. The 10 bucks and they do have to call in any favors. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I we just solved the problem and we have delegated the we have saving ability. The problem. No, I found it. It's still a problem for not not ours, but <laughs> exactly what I said. Get tow insurance. Seed tow, they're our friends, but I don't want to pay play favorites. Boat US works too. He was playing favorites. A typical morning when we are sailing 24-7 starts with waking up and checking in with the person on watch. Well, I have pretty much drank this whole pot of coffee to myself. <laughs> I made a breakfast frittata this morning. Very healthy and delicious with goat cheese. Okay, we all go. That's part eaten cantaloupe. After we digest a healthy breakfast, it's workout time. Eek. Oh. Eek. Oh. workouts when we can, but we leave plenty of time for naps and relaxation in between shifts. I just woke up from a little nap and it was very nice. What are you guys doing? We're discussing what? various issues of the day out the proper way to eat a Twizzler. Do you eat it this way or do you eat it? <laughs> Definitely not like way? a corn on the cob. No? Well, the wind's really picking up here. Over 20 knots. We're going to have to put a reef in the sail shortly. Boat's getting a little hard to steer. It's our last calm day in the Gulf Stream and we're taking advantage of it by going for a swim. Not many people can say they've swam 100 miles offshore and in water over 1,500 feet deep. Okay, Leah, jump in with this. And get the bottom of the boat because it's so clear. It's on right now. sharks underneath us because it's 1500 feet deep at least yeah. Look, little, fishy. Fire. little fish that means shark let's watch jaws tonight <laughs> It's 
crazy if you just try to swim down, it's just like you're just swimming into nothing, man. Cool, right? Uh, so wonderful. Land ho! We're here! We made it around Hatteras. It was the calmest I've ever seen it around Hatteras. It was amazing. It's that, it's that Saharan sand that came over from Africa Thank helping God us that. out. Now we have land in sight after, I guess it's only four days. We made great time because we had good wind the whole way. We were going like 13 to 14 knots for a while. I feel like I want to be further out at sea longer. I'm not ready to come home to this. Me neither. Ooh. 